Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the medication Sinacalcid. The parathyroid gland releases parathyroid hormone to increase the levels of calcium in the blood. So naturally, if we have low calcium in the blood, the parathyroid gland will sense this hypocalcemia and will secrete more parathyroid hormone. And of course, the parathyroid hormone increases calcium in the blood. And vice versa. If we have hypercalcemia or high calcium in the blood, the parathyroid gland will sense this and will decrease the production of parathyroid hormone. And this is the main regulatory effect of calcium in the blood. Now the medication Sinacalcid sensitizes the parathyroid gland to the circulating levels of calcium. So the parathyroid gland will become hypersensitive and you will have an exaggerated perception of calcium. So if the calcium levels are normal, or even a little bit low, it will sense that this calcium level is very high and it will decrease the production of parathyroid hormone. And of course, this results in hypocalcemia, which is the main side effect of this medication. Now, why would you want to decrease the levels of calcium? Well, here are the indications. It's used in patients with primary hyperparathyroidism if parathyroidectomy fails. It's also used to treat the symptoms of parathyroid carcinoma and most importantly it's used to treat the secondary hyperparathyroidism in patients with chronic kidney disease that are receiving hemodialysis and here's a small quiz what's the effect of parathyroid hormone on phosphate levels Parathyroid hormone, or PTH, decreases phosphate levels. Remember, PTH stands for phosphate trashing hormone. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.